A while back, No Spin Please wrote, you should do a video on the new Atom Smasher. Is it good, or will it blow up the Earth? Please pick this, please, equals D. Anyway, we had a bunch of things going on, so we filed No Spin's request in the Good Intentions folder, until Jeff wrote us and reminded us that we're on a deadline. A couple of words, particle, accelerator, Sweden, black hole, and we all die at 2 or 3 a.m. Central Time, maybe. Oh, by the way, tomorrow, maybe, depends on the whole less than 1% chance of happening, turns out to defy the odds. Sorry for the late note, but you could do a show on it before we all possibly die. Either the particle, accelerator, or black holes, whichever works for you. Whichever one works for me. I'm gonna go with the particle accelerator. I'm not sure I believe in black holes. I think Jeff was being sucked into a miniature black hole when he wrote that comment. They say they're so powerful that not even my ego can escape them. But I don't have a huge ego. When you compact it down to the density of a neutron star. Let's see, that was 2 central p.m. No, a.m. They fired it. Wait. I'm still here. Are you still there? The Large Hadron Collider, or Atom Smasher, is the largest particle accelerator in the world. How large? About 17 miles in circumference, buried 300 feet deep, and it sucks down about 10 trillion electric volts when it fires. And it's making some people very nervous. So nervous that there have been lawsuits to try and keep CERN labs from turning it on. Mostly because they're afraid of creating micro black holes and sucking our planet into oblivion. Get ready to suck. So have they fired it off? Yes. At around 10.28 a.m., their time, they shot a beam of protons around the 17-mile track, but there's been no smashing. Yet. That probably won't happen for another few weeks. They're just revving up the engine, so to speak. So getting back to the original question, is it good? And will it blow up the Earth? The LCH has an estimated 1 in 50 million chance of destroying the Earth. Honestly, that's a lot higher than I expected. Now is that 1 in 50 million every time they shoot it off, or is it for the entire estimated period of active use? It kind of makes a difference. And come to think of it, how do you even estimate something like that? It's an event without precedent being produced by a machine that at the time the estimate was made was still being built. Wait, I think I know how they came up with it. Still alive. We die. Doomsayers are afraid that smashing protons together could produce strangelets, or subatomic versions of cosmic black holes. But that's okay, because strangelets might not even exist, and Stephen Hawking says micro black holes would instantly evaporate anyway. Even though they're still kind of theoretical. So fire up that bad boy. No, wait, hold on. Okay, go ahead. Die or not, is the LHC good? I'm gonna go with a yes answer on this one. How else will we learn the secrets of the universe that'll eventually lead us to anti-gravity transporters and warp speed? Even though I have some pretty severe doubts that the scientists will make the discoveries they're hoping to make, like prove dark matter or string theory, it's a very advanced collider and it'll likely lead to some kind of discovery. Hey, with two digital cameras weighing 100 tons each taking millions of pictures a second, they're bound to see something. Glad we got that picture of the black hole before it sucked everything in. I think it's kind of funny how the article I read says that dark matter and dark energy make up 96% of the universe when the hope of building and using this machine is to prove that they even exist in the first place. I hold in my hand the fate of the universe. Yahtzee.